Hello and welcome to Bucket Studios. So in this video, I'm going to be giving an overview of the M32 edit. Just generally looking around, seeing where everything is, showing you your general way around. And in future videos, episodes of this series, I'm going to be going into particular sections and areas and describing the terminology there and what everything means and where you can find all the different settings, super in-depth stuff. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is M32 Edit. You've got your general, this is the first page that you're gonna find when you open it. So I'm just gonna walk you through that. You've got the general fader banks, mute buttons, solos and stuff. Scribble strip showing what each channel is. Uh, this is the channel I've created. So that's why there's a bunch of labels in, otherwise it'd just be like blank yellow ones. Uh, you've got a few details up here. Uh, I'll do another video on this whole page, getting into, getting into a lot more detail. But let's start. So I'll just go through these ones up here. So that's the mixer one, as I said. You can change the picture up here, I think. I'll, I'll get into all that in another video. You've got your channel. This is the, sort of the general home page on the desk. This is what you usually met with, linking settings and all the, just an overview of all of the other pages. You've got your the config page where you can change game, the source and everything, the low cut, and you've got your gate, uh, compression, EQ, bus sends, main sends, and then two pages for the effects. These don't really change. This isn't particular to this channel because it doesn't change if you go anywhere else. That's just where they put the effects. You've got down on the side here, you've got the different faded banks. So this is 1 to 32, and you've got 1 to 16 and the 8 DCAs. And you've got 17 to 32 and the 8 DCAs, uh, the auxiliaries and the effects. So the desk by default has chosen um, the last 16 buses. That's not where I have my effects set up. So I haven't found the way to change that. Uh, I'll look into it a bit more, and maybe when I do a particular video on this, I'll show you that. But at this time, I don't, I don't know if you can change that. Then you've got the, all of your bus matrices, so I've got my effects on these two instead of these four. But the default is to have them on those four, which is why those four are back on this page. Yeah, so you've got all of the, the buses, 16 buses, and your eight matrixes. Six, six matrixes. Sorry. And again, you've got all the labels down the bottom. Then you've got just an all, where you can scroll through your know, entire setup, which includes your front of house and your subwoofer. Then you've got two user layers that you can set up and it's probably a layer or a setup. I don't know. Um, then on the side over here, you've got a few buttons. Uh, you do a few things to set up, which is general connection to the console. You can connect this software to a console and like it shows live metering on here. You can control the console from here, or you can just set up scenes in advance and load them on, which is what I often do. Library, the assignable section. So you've got like the assignables, uh, whole scenes, monitor, utility. Uh, then you can load and scenes. Or snippets, copy and paste different functions. So if you take a channel, copy and then paste it, you can decide what you want to paste. You got the AS50, A and B, the, um, the sample right there, and what card you have connected. So these three will plug in, will, will show something when you actually have a console connected, if you have the AS50 connected. Then you'll be about to see it, and this is how you do your sends on faders. So you select the keys one, and then you can adjust it in here. 
but you can also adjust it up here. I'll, I'll go into more depth about that. I go right left, right, you talk back A and B, auto mix, and you mute groups. All very good. And the front of house fail. So that's the um, sort of general overview of the whole sort of uh, software. I'll go into a lot more detail on each section, go through the different terms, explain everything, but just if you want to sort of know where everything is, that's that. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you learned some things. Stick around, subscribe. Uh, and get put the notification bell on to get notified when I upload the future videos and sort of the future episodes of this series so you can see more in-depth explanations of each section. On this channel I'm going to be doing uh, a lot more of this but I also see whenever I get like clients in my studio or something I'll try and record some of that and you guys can see my workflows and how I do things and not just the base how the equipment works. So yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.